Okay, Cole's top tips. <laughs> so here's my quick tip. A lot of the time at the moment, I'm using these three pens. So I've got a fine Pentel brush pen in black. I've got a standard Pentel brush pen in gray. And then I've got a water blender just with water. And not an expensive thing in the UK. You pick these up for about one pound or something. And I use these an awful lot uh, to get a kind of watercolor effect that's quite useful, impressive, and getting some tone down very quickly on a drawing. Um, the key to it is to find a pretty good paper like this one, which is uh, enough to resist the, the amount of liquid you're getting on there and it doesn't ruckle up too much. And also has a certain sheen to it so that you can still move the uh, ink around once you put it on there for a few seconds. So um, for example, If I was doing a head, and I can go with the water and grey. Lids off both, ready for action. And I can use both hands because I don't need to be super accurate with this and just... And again, it's really useful because I can get tones down, move the ink around really quickly and I'm starting to think about form, depth, light and dark all really quick. So you can work really really loose with this in the beginning, get some water on there, move it around let the ink do its thing. Because for me as well, I really enjoy it when the medium does some of the work. Not because I'm lazy, but well, maybe because I'm lazy. Like that. Put the grey away. Really let that dry, but it's a quick tip, so I won't let it dry. And then go in with the black. You can still move that black around and use it to get variations in the gray really, really quickly. So it's a useful little tip for, for getting tone and values down very, very quickly. And also it's quite nice because it's a, uh, it adds a looseness and a, a kind of um, painterly feel to your drawing. Essentially I'm only drawing here really, it's not a painting, but just moving the ink around really quickly. As I said, the key to this is making sure you've got a good paper that's not gonna completely be destroyed by adding water to it. And then if you leave this to dry for maybe five minutes, you can go in and do some real um, nice little line work. And the great thing is it, if I make a slight mistake or I'm not so happy with that, I can still take some of the value away 
knock it back a bit. And that's how I'm working quite quite a lot at the moment, just to uh, take drawings to a, a slightly more finished level, really. And I enjoy working this way. It's just quite rewarding and good fun as well. That's one of my top tips, I guess. I keep an awful lot of these pens in my pencil case. I've got a huge amount of brush pens and various colors. And for the most part, I'm using these black, black and gray all the time. Another top tip is if you need a highlighter or if you, you feel like, a, you know, you've lost some of the highlights, I use these Pentel correction pens which are really useful because they're super opaque you can go in like that and when it's still wet you can smudge it because your finger gets filthy but the good old jungy smudge technique. So you can see there you took really essentially a pretty much a, an ink drawing just gray and white, gray and black on a water blender, but made something that's a little bit more energetic and feels a bit more painterly in my eyes. And so it's just a different approach to, um, you know, to this, to using these, these brush pens as a, as a medium. I, quite, I find them really, they're really great actually, because they're really versatile. I, f I think, you know, um, Initially, as I think maybe as a Westerner, I found them quite hard to use because you're not used to drawing and writing with a brush. Um, I'm more used to painting, but over the years of, of practice with them, I, I've adapted my technique. And so I'm kind of morphing together my watercolor technique and then uh, the many hours of practice I've, I've, I've made with these brush pens and kind of coming out with something quite interesting hopefully. So that's my top tip for today.